Sejam bem-vindos ao meu canal, eu sou o Billy E hoje nós vamos estar continuando o The Uncertain é, Light at the End É, da onde a gente tinha é parado A gente parou aqui no refúgio E vambora Vamos ter que explorar algumas coisas aqui Park is a lifesaver And the only reason I'm not still back at the drugstore na verdade é o contrário, né? A gente foi lá resgatar ele. There's a boiler room back there. If we could just get this all out of the way. Ah, tem uma porta aqui. Entendi. Que isso? Family food. Da hora. Toda toda anfitriã, anfitriã sabe quanto é difícil manter seus convidados felizes quando não há nada na geladeira. Ninguém está livre disso. Foi pensando nessas situações. Foi pensando nessas situações desagradáveis que fizemos uma. Fizemos uma deliciosa lista de 10 refeições fáceis e rápidas para fazer. Usando ingredientes aleatórios e temperos exóticos que costumam acumular naquela prateleira esquecida na cozinha. Vamos ajudar você. A fazer um bom uso deles e garantir que aquela visita inesperada não fique com fome. Que massa. Que isso? Eu preciso de uma caixa de ferramentas. Eu melhor perguntar antes de se mexer com ela. Quem é o Alex? Não temos muito tempo de tempo, mas... Park spends his não, making Park music on é. tablet. Too bad there's no one left to listen to his stuff. O Alex teve seu velhão lá atrás. Nice. Café? 80 graus, caramba. Eu sei chá, eu acho. Claire's just the best. She always makes time for others and does her best to keep us all happy. Makes you wonder how she ended up married to Alex. <laughs> Tem outra porta aqui. Não tenho nada para uma chuva quente agora, mas não tenho sorte. Um banheiro. Tem que falar com ele pelo jeito, mas eu vou ver tudo antes de falar com ele. Ah, tem outro cara aqui. Ah, não, uma mulher. Nossa, um bebê. Olga. I can't even imagine what it must take raising a child the way things are. And what about her father? Warm, cozy, no robots. Sometimes just the simple things are enough. <laughs> I'd better find out what Alex needs first. Before he really loses his shit. I also need to get those meds we found over to Olga. Tá, tem alguma coisa aqui, ó. Uma foto. This picture is one of the few things I have left. Vou ver. Mom and Dad, Marta, I miss you so much. Caramba, parece uma foto de verdade, cara. Ela, a irmã e o pai e a mãe. Tô morando num porão, velho. Brian sleeps here. Tries to anyway. He hasn't been able to sleep lately. I should give him those pills I grabbed back at the drugstore. That might send the wrong idea. Muda meu chefe sem autorização, né? Falar com ele. Um bilhetinho aqui, ó. Bilhete de Alex no emprego dele. Acordar Brian para jantar. Para a janta. E se ele conseguir dormir? Usar o ferro de soda no acumulador. Dar uma bronca no Matt por ter pego minhas ferramentas. 
você lembrar de dar fazer a, de dar as broncas será Alex he's either venting or tinkering with some project actually it's usually both maybe it's a coping mechanism the phantom pain I could give him those painkillers I found at the drugstore tá aí como é que eu dou aqui that it I'm kind of busy Alex I found some painkillers at the drugstore maybe they could help you with your leg leg pain requires having a leg be idiotic to waste painkillers on a phantom limb. Oh, right. Sorry, I didn't knock it off, Alex. The girl's just trying to help. Fine, give him here. I'm sure someone can make use of him. Maybe mad after I put my only remaining foot up his ass. <sighs> Go on, give me some peace and quiet. I got a lot of work to do. Caramba, que grosso. Where are you going? Just wanted to check in. Is your leg giving you any trouble? Oh, isn't that sweet? Yeah, I'm just peachy. Now why did you go fawn over someone who needs it? I told you, I'm busy. Have you seen Matt? What? Do I look like his chaperone? General Jackass hasn't returned yet. I told him there's a store we haven't checked just down the way, but he, of course, decided to go clear across the city. Not to mention, he left you two little brats at the drugstore, alone. I'm giving him an earful when he gets back. Oh yeah, you'll see. Claire said you needed me for something? Yeah, maybe you can help me. My damn stump's been aching ever since I woke up. It's driving me nuts. Sucking the strength right out of me. Here, use this thing to open the drawer by the kitchen and bring me the decoder. Okay, what does it look like? Well, it's a electronic thingamajig. You'll figure it out. Go on now. Gross, cara, meu Deus. Ah, dá pra me conversar com ele também. What's up, Em? How you doing? You look pleased. I am. Claire's pancakes are amazing. Just like the ones they used to serve in the university cafeteria. So good. Almost enough to make you forget you're hiding from killer robots. Come to think of it, why aren't you eating? Maybe later. My appetite's still... Playing catch up, I guess. Just leave some for me, okay? I'll try, but no promises. Perguntar sobre farmácia. So, how was your morning? Let's put it this way: telling the story is better than living it. That bad, huh? We've gotten out of worse. Like the freight car incident? Don't remind me. Who knew the driver would take off so soon? It took us forever to get back home. Hey, we should keep an eye out for a new tablet. Yours is like a hundred years old. Nah, I'm good. This tablet and I have been through a lot together. Plus, it reminds me of my dad. I used to mess around making music, working the counter at the store. Right. Sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. That's okay. The tablet might be old, but it does everything I need. The music editor is decent, and it's still great for movies and books. Holds a charge for a few weeks, too. What more could I ask for? Um... Don't answer that. All right, I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Bon appetit. Yeah, thanks. I'm waking in this bowl here. I'm gonna go with her, Sarah. I'm going Emily, shouldn't you be resting? I thought you wanted a nap. But it's a good. Yeah, but you need any help? I mean. I can see you've already got your hands full here. Oh no, that's all right. You've done more than enough already. I can handle it. Go and get some rest. Versa. Claire, this is a little forward, but there's something I'd like to ask, if that's okay. Alex. You and Alex, well, you're um you're probably wondering how I wound up married to a guy like him. Eh, not exactly. I just no, it's okay. Believe it or not, Alex wasn't always quite so abrasive. Thirty years ago, he was a completely different person. A robotics technician with a promising career. And I was just a country girl, really. And madly in love. Some people just change. But either way, I'm not complaining. I made a promise to stay with him, for better or worse. Tenji. Can you tell me about the others? Park and I haven't had much time to get to know everyone. Honestly, 
I doubt I'll be telling you anything you don't already know. Alex is grouchy as hell. Take it from me. <laughs> but he's a hard worker and a devoted husband. Don't mind his thorns. He's a good guy deep down. He's just been through a lot. He kind of reminds me of my uncle Owen, actually. Only content when he had something to complain about. What about Olga? We found Olga in an abandoned house last winter. She was scared and freezing. Oh my gosh, she could barely stand. She later told us that the rest of her group had been captured. She'd managed to hide, but... But ended up pregnant and alone in such a cold, dangerous city. I can't even imagine what it took for her to survive. We brought her to our camp, gave her food and shelter, and she stayed. And then Vera was born. Raising a child these days is especially tough. But Nossa, imagine. we're all one big family here. Brian's our village elder. Wise and calm. And he really knows his way around electronics, too. Alex shared a hospital room with him. Back before everything went to hell. And they became fast friends. A lot in common, those two. And I'm not just talking about surviving the incident. I don't really know that much about Matthew. Between you and me, there's something about him I don't like. He obviously wants to be a leader, bosses everyone around, but he's short on brains and wisdom, which is probably why he's always butting heads with Alex. He followed some tracks into our camp a couple of months ago and saw light coming from inside, started snooping around and ended up scaring the hell out of us. Long story short, he decided to make himself at home. To be fair, he does his fair share for the group. He goes on supply runs, brings back food. Still, Matt's kinda weird. I try to stay away from him, and so should you. I've seen him holding his head, rubbing his temples with his fingers. Maybe that has something to do with why he's always so, uh, charming? Well, <laughs> women are good at making excuses for our men. I understand what made Alex the way he is. So I put up with his swearing and grumbling and the occasional mockery. I'm curious, how did you escape during the incident? I mean, not a pleasant memory. Alex rushed home from work on his lunch break, frantic yelling at me to pack my things right away. I remember him telling me that the robot cops had gone crazy, just grabbing people off the streets for no reason. At first, I, I didn't believe him. The weird thing about Alex, he's really good at his job, but he's never really liked robots. He wouldn't let us get one of our own. Said it was because he knew too much about them. Mm. Honestly, I thought he was pulling some stupid prank, which was uh, unusual. I didn't really believe it until I saw it with my own eyes. As Ele consertava os robôs, talvez. You took an aero car? Weren't they all offline that day? Actually, we had an old school electric car. Rare, I know. But I'm afraid of flying, and Alex liked to tinker with it. Kept it up real nice, washed and painted like new. Anyway, we quickly grabbed a few things and then went to pick up Brian. I see. And then? Why didn't you try to get out of the city? That was the plan, until we blew out one of the tires. And spares aren't exactly easy to find these days. And uh, that's how we ended up here. So <laughs> Not a lot to tell, really. I was headed out to grab some laundry when everything went black. And when I came to, there wasn't a soul in sight. When I got back to my place, my homebot was surprised to see me. He kept spouting nonsense, something about the war and humanity going extinct. Something was obviously wrong. With the robots, I mean. So I set out to find Marta on the other side of town. She's my sister. Did... did you find her? No. I like to think she saved herself, made it out somehow, but... Ah, pode ser que aquele, aquela menina que a gente encontrou no primeiro seja a irmã dela. That's all I got. Thanks for the chat. Registrar-se. Tell me, what do you think of this place? 
How are you doing? Here in the city's outskirts, there are hardly any robots. Plus, it's warm and dry. All in all, it's not too bad. All this place needs are a few repairs and some cleanup to make it a good, proper home. It has to be hard on you moving from place to place. I mean, there's a whole city up there, and here we are underground, literally. I just miss having a place to call home. I know exactly what you mean. For years, Alex and I lived in this house my father-in-law gave us. Just a tiny old place, but we always worked hard to keep it in good shape. Nothing fancy, but it was cozy, and it was ours. That sounds lovely, Claire. Oh, but you should have seen it when we first moved in. Cracks, mold, and spider webs <laughs> everywhere. We actually considered selling it, but you know Alex. He insisted on fixing it up. And then... Well, we got too attached to sell. I wish I could go back there. But I know I'll probably never see it again. Scoopar, scoopar de l'air, apoyar. I had this crummy little flat before the incident. Rowdy neighbors, drafty windows, not a lot of wiggle room, but I'd give just about anything to have that back. We'll talk later, okay? I need to get these meds to Olga. Of course, please do. Locked. Que massa, tem que usar a mão. Decodificador. Tá, isso aqui é pra abrir as coisas, provavelmente. Vou entregar pro Alex aqui, pra ver o que, que vai falar. Is this it, Alex? Uh-huh. Hang on a sec. Help me out. Come on. Give me a hand. Yeah, well, naturally, connecting the encrypted memory cells on this old thing is going to take some trial and error. What? Ah, such a pain dealing with you dilettantes. Look, you got an eye for design, right? Just arrange the pixels so that the various colors aren't repeated, horizontally or vertically. You got me? I'll try. Tá ali que você do amarelo, será? Disponha os indicadores coloridos de forma que as cores não se repitam na vertical e nem na horizontal. Entendi. Nossa, vai demorar isso aqui. Tá, aqui já foi. Aqui não tem nenhum vermelho. Tem que ser tipo do oposto. Uma de cada cor, será? Que ficou verdinho. Tá, não entendi ainda, mas nós vamos descobrir o que, que é. Não, ali já tem. São seis. Tá. Tem 
entendi, mas é difícil. Preciso de um pouco de raciocínio. Faltou um amarelo aqui. Deu certo. Por que ficou repetido? Não entendi. Não era pra dar certo, mas deu. Vou trocar pra ver. Era do mesmo jeito. Bota um amarelo aqui. Ok, fine. Aqui também ficou repetido. Não entendi mais. Tudo bem. Tá, aqui não deu certo porque. Ah, porque tem outro aqui, né? Falta um azul. Fechou? Ah, não deu certo, viu? Tá. Aqui tem igual. E aqui também. Qual que eu vou pôr aqui? O azul. Ah, aqui também tá certo. Eu só na vertical, né? Falta na horizontal. Na verdade foi o contrário. Deu na horizontal, mas não na vertical. Tá, aqui tá certo, não tem nenhum verde aqui. Tem um azul aqui. Tem que ser... Um amarelo. Tá, aqui tem um vermelho, tem que ser outra cor aqui. Amarelo. Por que não deu? Ah, porque tem um azul aqui também, ó. Tom verde. Aqui tem... Tem dois azul igual, tá? Vermelho já tem. Seu é azul. Sabe por que não deu certo? Não tem nenhum azul. Ah, acho que não posso tirar daqui. Deu certo lá agora. Que seu azul. E talvez. Fechou. Alright, connection established. Just go. Relax, I'll handle the rest. Sounds good. Let us know what you find. Boa. Acho que deu por hoje. Of course, please. Vamos dormir. Agora não podemos. First things first. Give the medicine to Olga. Ah, tá. Eu não dou remédio, nem conversei com ela. Bebê né? tá dormindo. Oh, thank you, Emily. Little Vera's fever has made it so hard for her to sleep. I hope this does the trick. Посмотрим. We'll see. Her ela é russa. Tem sotaque. When she wakes, I'll give her some of that medicine. But please, let her sleep for now. Well, we're all really hoping that... Um, where did this crib come from? Brian found it on one of the upper floors while you were away. I'm sad we'll need to leave it behind. 
eventually. It's not exactly portable. Okay, well, try and get some rest. Actually, I'm about to do the same. Okay, thank you. And to park too. I hope the medicine helps. Ah, tem uma guitarra aqui, eu não, não tinha, eu não tinha visto. Park was so happy when he spotted this guitar, but without an amp, it's not good for much. Boa, o barulho. Eu olhei tudo, eu acho. E agora é hora de dormir. Descansar um pouco. Espera um pouco, um pouquinho, tá? Vamos descansar. Right, Emily. After a day like that, you deserve a little time for yourself. Falta o cara voltar, né? Tá sonhando. É um sonho. Vamos ver com o que ela tá sonhando. Caramba, que susto. É a saída? É. Essa é a legenda no que ela tá falando. Eles não confiam em você. Você lembra do rosto? Eu não sei do que. Nossa, que bizarro. Emily, it's already noon. Wake up before you sleep the day away. Matthew's bringing lunch soon. Okay, um, wait. I really slept for that long? Tava cansado, certo? Well, someone looks inspired. Tô ouvindo música. Park looks like he's lost in his music. I'll leave him to it and ask to have a listen later. Beleza. I shouldn't bother her. Tá bom. Ah, velhão. É com ele que eu tenho que falar, mas antes eu vou falar com ele. Espera aí. Hey, Alex, how's it going with that robot? Find anything interesting? Of course, but the damn world's gone crazy. Robots going haywire, kidnapping folks off the street, and people just sitting on their hands, letting it happen like it was perfectly normal. These old units don't have encrypted memories, so we might be able to extract some of the undamaged code. Okay, well that sounds good. Anything else to share? Nothing for sure, but I've been able to extract the update log with the decoder. It's troubling. 
Seems as though the USS Accor protocol has merged somehow. Mm. What happened? Who benefited? And why? Are still unknown. Alex doesn't think it was a robot-led rebellion, though. Yeah, it's just a bunch of ramblings from cinephiles and tabloid writers. Implementation of the wire Turing protocol makes it impossible for AI to rebel against human society. Well, then what did happen? I mean, if it's not the robots, then why are we hiding out in a basement? That's the real question, isn't it? <laughs> Logically, it doesn't make sense. If an uprising led by AI is impossible, that only leaves the human factor. The question is, who might benefit from all this? All those people. Are they even alive? It's been ages, but we haven't learned a thing. And there's less and less of us with each passing day. We can't hide forever. We have to do something. Do you think we're playing games here? Huh? You're testing my patience, Emily. Maybe you should go find somewhere you can actually be useful. Yeah, don't talk more, Mel. Please stop by when you have the time. Alex has been tinkering with this robot. I wonder what he's planning. Bella. Parece que os robôs se... Revoltar, sei lá. Foi alguma coisa no sistema deles, que isso. Plate de metal. Uma lista de itens e alimentos necessários. Matt, estamos ficando sem farinha e fermento. Eu sei que quando é, vocês. Enquanto vocês gostam de panquecas. Lembra disso na sua próxima ronda. Bem, precisa de sal, ovos em pó, xarope, leite condensado. Não esquece de conferir os prazos de validade. Ah, mas uma coisa: detergente vira bem. Viria bem a calhar. Bastante purificadores de ar, valeu. Dá pra conversar com ela. Ah, esse aqui é o um menininho, é outro rapaz. É muito novo. Hey Matt, find anything interesting? Oh yeah, small stuff. Canned food mostly. A lot of it's expired though. I say we use Alex as a guinea pig. Are you taking requests? Find me a can of drink pink and I'll owe you. Big time. Tá, não tem muito pra falar com ele. É o que ele trouxe. Eu já falei, tem que falar com ele. He puts on a brave face, but Brian's not getting the sleep he needs. And it shows. Hey Brian, how are you feeling? Sleep well? Hello little Emily. Don't worry. At my age it's perfectly normal. I found some sleeping pills today. Could that help? Hmm. Not familiar with this brand. Of all the meds I've tried, none seem to help. Hopefully, these will actually do the trick. Thank you. I almost forgot. I've got a surprise for you. Mm. After you make some hot tea for the old man. A surprise? One cup of tea coming up. Tá, vou fazer um chá pra ele. Aqui, ó. Sabia que era chá. Splendid work, little Emily. Here's a tip. Ah, o relógio. My watch. You fixed it. Thank you. Here you go. It took some tinkering, but I was able to disable the antenna and navigation modules, so no one can track you. Other than that, the watch is like new. Hey kids, come on over. It's lunchtime. Imagine tudo que eletrônico pode ser rastreável. Now, let's talk about this morning, and then our plans for the future. Tá bom. After what happened in the drugstore today, Alex and I decided that some extra protection against robots 
would be wise. Myra? I won't keep you in suspense. I drafted a blueprint for a very powerful taser. Opa. However, it's only useful at close range. Simply put, a single charge should be able to fry a robot circuitry to a crisp. Oh. It won't be of much use if you get swarmed. It doesn't have that kind of power, but it should be able to bring down a single bot and buy you some time to get away. That's great. But I'm guessing you can't just make one out of rags and cardboard. Which means you're sending me somewhere dangerous to scavenge for parts, right? Not so dumb after all, are you, Matt? <laughs> Brian will give you the list of parts. Take Emily or Park with you. You'll find everything you need in any decent electronics store. Ah. Sounds like our best bet is Geek Spot. It's a couple of hours on foot. There's a big parking lot out front. All those abandoned aero cars will make it easy to hide. Well then. That seems like the obvious choice. Both of you should get packed and head out while it's still light out. Hold on. I, I just got back. Can't this wait? It'll be dark soon. Stop testing my nerves, boy. I'll get off your back as soon as you get going. Do what you're told and get the hell out of here. Enough. Enough, Matthew. We really need you to find those parts. I have a feeling that taser will come in quite handy. Ta. We'll talk more when you get back. Fine, fine. I just don't understand why this old jerk gets to order us around like he's the boss or something. You're such an asshole. When I get my leg fixed, you better start <laughs> Stop it, Alex. <laughs> you should be ashamed. How else am I supposed to talk to this punk so that he understands? Who does he think he is, huh? I think we'd better get going, like now. Okay, okay, yeah. I can really use some fresh air away from these freaking old farts. Park? I don't suppose you've got another round for the flare gun? It could be useful. None left, but I can give you this firecracker I found, if you want. Nice. I'll take what I can get, thanks. If nothing else, I can use it as a distraction. Beleza. I mean, I am done with all his yelling. Telling us what to do. I mean, who made him king? I was just looking forward to getting some rest. I don't know. Alex could work on his delivery, sure, but a lot of what he has to say seems smart. Oh, come on, Emily. Are you serious? You really think he's the best one to lead us? There's got to be someone better, don't you think? É tipo, do, no primeiro não tinha é, animação da da boca, nem de do rosto nada, porque era do robô. He's no Prince Charming, but there's no doubt Alex knows a thing or two about survival. God, you just got here, and you're already on his side too? <laughs> Same old shit. You know, I am sick of Claire and Olga always backing him up. Just wait, I'm so sure they're gonna blame me when the robots hear all that shouting. Look at it this way. You guys have been holding it together for months. Most of the groups Park and I were with collapsed within a week because they lacked leadership. Yeah. Look, Emily, it's not all rainbows and butterflies. Just ask Alex about what happened to Mike when we get back. I wonder what he'll say. Fine, just forget it. But honestly, the old folks are a liability. Dead weight. You know they'll just get captured sooner or later, right? Only question is whether or not they'll drag us down with them. What is wrong with you? Don't you care about the others even just a little? What about Olga and Vera? Or is your ego just that big? Well, tell me I'm wrong. It's a miracle we haven't gotten into more serious trouble yet. Forget Alex for a second. What happens if the cops discover our hideout? There's no way Alex and Brian can outrun them. Park's got his asthma, and Claire's no track star either. I've been over and over it in my head, and I'm sure you have too. What are you saying? That we should just run off? Leave them all behind? Only the strong survive, is that it, Matt? Oh, come on. That's not what I meant. I just, look. I'm sure deep down you get it. If this is an attempt to show off your dazzling wit, it's not working. Let's just drop it, okay? Listen, I'm not afraid to say what everyone else is already thinking. Being sick and old are liabilities. Don't pretend you don't know that. Drop it. Ele já quer vazar já. Geek Sport. Geek Spot. Finally made it. Shh. 
This way, quick. Wonderful. How are we getting past these two? Maybe just go around? Yeah, great idea, Em. If we want their friends to call for backup. If it's just a patrol, they'll move on soon. Hard to imagine what the cops are doing here. Let's wait for a bit. Perguntar sobre o outro do acidente, terminar a conversa, perguntar sobre a sua família. Sounds good. While we do, there's something I've been meaning to ask. What did you do before the incident? Can't see you behind a desk. Well, let's just say I was in transportation and logistics. A lot of folks were willing to pay top dollar to get exactly what they wanted. Uh, what about you? Where did you work? I was a spatial designer, creating virtual apartments, stuff like that. Did some very cool VR gaming gigs, too. Really? Sounds like a total waste of time, to be honest. No, I like... No, I am pretty tough. I liked it. Esse depois do acidente aqui é depois que aconteceu essa guerra aí entre os humanos e os robôs. Perguntar sobre o que aconteceu... É, sobre como eu entro no grupo. How did you end up here? With Brian and the rest, I mean... Even a blind man could find their hideout. If you could even call it that. Seriously? That's it? <laughs> yeah. I was just walking down the street and saw some light coming from a basement window. Didn't seem like robots, so I investigated. Turns out I was right. Remember how I told you about Mike? Shortly after he joined the group, he went to look for supplies and... Well, he never came back. Really? And no one knows what happened to him? Maybe I will ask Alex about it. Perguntar sobre a família. What about your family? Were they taken too? I never met my parents. I don't know much about them. Just that they were loaded. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Didn't mean to what? You know, upset you. Hey, no sweat. I'm used to it. Bom, vamos fazer o seguinte. O vídeo está muito grande já. Eu vou finalizar esse vídeo por aqui. Se você gostou. É, já deixa o like aí, comenta, compartilha. Se não gostou também pode deixar o dislike, não tem problema. Se você é novo aqui no canal e gostou do vídeo, é, não esquece de se inscrever aqui embaixo e deixar o like. É tudo de graça e me ajuda muito. Não esquece de ativar o sininho também para receber os vídeos. É isso aí, não esquece de beber água. A hidratação é sempre bom. Não esqueçam de ler livros também ou qualquer outra coisa. Tem o hábito de ler as coisas, faz muito bem. É isso aí, valeu e falou.